Welcome back to Cord Farms, episode number 13 here in Farming Simulator 22. Today is going to be quite a few different things. We need to plant. We also need to figure out what new crops are going to go where. So that's pretty exciting. We're also going to look at some new animals. We've got a lot of crops now. Maybe we could look at possibly buying some other animals. Also, I've completely neglected my production chains over the past few episodes and well... Uh, there's a lot ready to go. So we're going to have to do something about that. Speaking of production change, you can see over here at the grain mill, which is where we are right now, we have 290 liters of wheat in there. We need to figure out how to get that going faster. We've also got, well, a shortage of uh, flour. There's, there is none. So we need to get some over there because we have some now. Also, our <laughs> farm dairy cheaty is, is actually doing just fine, but I really don't want to upgrade it just yet. You can see I've got it on times half, and that's how fast it's going. We're selling butter, we're selling cheese, and we are selling raw milk. We're going to make a lot of money, and we're going to be just fine. But the first thing that we need to do today is figure out one of those things to do. <laughs> I think the easiest thing to do for me is going to be go ahead and sort the production chains first. So let's go ahead and hit that. We'll jump on our John Deere Buck 500 right here and we'll hook up to our trailer. As a matter of fact, this setup, though it may be a uh, super cool, might, uh, we might do better. Maybe something a little bit different as far as the world of John Deere goes. This is a cool machine, don't get me wrong. But for that trailer, it's just a little bit lightweight maybe something more like this would work so we've got a trailer hitch out here it is a four seater so it is a little bit bigger it only goes 46 miles an hour so about half the speed of the other however uh, i feel like this may fit this trailer a bit better rear wheels are still dragging though <laughs> well what are you gonna do about it also i don't know where our bits are as a matter of fact i'm gonna take a little ue turn through here Let's head down to the bakery. I think that's where the stuff is also. Is that still invisible? Definitely not. <laughs> Let's just ignore what just happened at Beaumont. Dear bakery, do you have... Well, here's one. I guess, I guess this will work. We should have two of these. So I'm not quite sure what happened with this. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's put this over here because this is supposed to stay here. I think I sold the other one because it was in the middle of a field and I didn't want to mess with it. So maybe we go grab another one. So this is where that global goods transport pallet should be. And yet it is not. So we're going to back out of here and we are going to force it to be here. I'm going to use the store deliveries mod. Let's jump in, find our global goods transport pallet. Aha. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so now we've got to get this stuff. So all we need to do is make it move. There we go. Good, good, good. And then we will plop that right there. Now all these should drop down. The good thing is there's only 10,000 liters left, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's enough to where it's going to be an issue. Is it going to ever pop up? It should. There we go. All right. We're gonna leave that sitting. That'll do its thing quite nicely. Next, let's check in and check some animals. So over here we have little baby rabbits. I don't remember what they eat, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, eventually we'll have some rabbits or something like that. I did mention that we are going to keep the cattle in the last episode. However, uh, this whole manure thing, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. I think we needed a new game save to fix it, but well, we're too far invested at this point already. Uh, we also have chickens, which I have not modified yet, so I'm going to have to do that. But one thing that I have done is the pigs and the sheep. Not the horses either, for some reason. Let's come over here to the sheep, because I would like to have some of these. So we could get up to 500, at least on the modified version that I've done. And we want ones that will do wool. One insane thing is... Ch cheaper cheap man i yeah i will see we can hold 500 so let's get 250 that way we can double it in what a year and be totally fine there so there's our uh 60 let's come back over here we're gonna do the what is that the stein chef i don't know uh there's 120 180 240 and lastly we'll do 10 nice so 250 right there. Uh, they will reproduce, which is super cool. And now we need to get them some water and food. So this is the grass, which works for me, but we had to get this because our other tractor is on the other farm. 
and I didn't feel like driving it over. They still get a lot of power though. I will say Mr. Mark Thor has done a killer job with this thing, but hay, straw, grass. Ooh, only 22,000 liters. That's, that's not the greatest in the world. I don't know if they'll take hay. That may have should have been something that I looked at. Oh, come on. Oh, that's definitely a crash. I never said I was the best forwards driver in Farm Sim. Well, haven't in a few years since Clutch completely humiliated me back in Farm Sim 19. You know what? I didn't mention that, dude. Why, why are we even bringing that up, right? Yeah. Why are we even bringing that up? <laughs> Let's just take it around. I've also got a liquid tank around here somewhere as well. So we'll get in there and give them some water. Uh, we'll bring the other uh, tractor over. We are going to be getting wool, which is pretty cool. Let's see. We'll come through here. Oh, I like that fence. That's a nice fence. Bring this round and back it in. Also, uh, yeah, it's got some front uh, black or red wheels for some reason. I, I, and, I, and I don't know why. I'm also running over sheep like it's going out of business here. Can we get, can we? Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. Oops. All right, let's go through here because I wanna see, will they take hay? Yes, they will. Okay, so now I need to go back over and refill this thing with some hay. Ooh, I found a cheaty way to do this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm super smart. And just because I can, I'm backing up all the way back. <laughs> Yeah. All right, there we go. So we have some grass, we have some hay in there, and now they are up to 173,000 liters, which is good. It's not a lot, but it's it's fine for now. Uh, we need to get this some water though, because if we don't get those some water, uh, they will spontaneously combust. And that's a thing that sheep do. And now for the water, I went ahead and just picked up the same tanker that we've got across, but probably what we could do is buy another one of these and just leave it here. That may work absolutely just fine. There we go, dump the water, and they will be nice and happy. So we're gonna fill that up. I believe it holds a million liters, so that works for me. Uh, at least the modified version that I've done will. Let's go around because there's gonna be some other areas with other animals. Let's see, for example, so we have home farm cows. We did get some of those. Court farms sheep, we have those as well. And then we've got pigs, chickens, rabbits, cows, and then another one. At least those are the ones that we own. I do believe there's one more farm. Isn't there like a, a farm down here somewhere or something? There's one more farm on here, I believe. So we have this guy right here. I believe that was, uh, was that Stilt Bridge? Something like that. Let's see. Court, 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 court. Yeah, none of those. But this area right here, yo, check this out. Hang on. We're trying to push the right buttons here so I can buy this. And now we've got here Stonebridge Rabbit Farm and then Chicken Farm. I like how they use the pig thing for rabbits. But yeah, we've got a whole other area here. But I thought there was one more with cattle. Like when I was modifying the farms, there was four cattle pens that I modified. We're going to go and sell that because I don't want that yet. Here it is. Field 34. We've got a whole area there. And then here are our Aminals. We've got a few down here. We've got some more sheep and we have some cattle right there. So this is a very, very nice area. I'm kind of, kind of digging this. Can be honest with you. Did, no, the question is, I think, did I modify it correctly? Here we go. So we've got uh, Elm Croft down there, but not showing anything. Let's see if we can jump down to the ground and, and quit flying around so much. See, where do I buy the animals? Here we go. Boop. Okay, so it looks to be modified correctly down at the bottom right-hand corner. I got a million on Earth thing. Maybe this will be good, but I did complain saying that I think that we don't have enough money to get everything. I mean, we've got enough money, but I'm not sure we've got enough spread outness. So I'm going to go back in. We're going to sell this at least for now, but at least we know where everything is now. So now at least for now, we've got the animal situation sorted. We've got the productions sorted, more or less. Now we need to get a little bit of fertilizer done, and that is going to be the bit next. So I've got a couple fields that need it that I haven't done yet, so it's going to be uh, this one which we've created, and another field that we created. And then once we get these, it is going to be time to start putting crops in the ground. As I said, we're going to be doing some of the new crops. We may not be doing all of them. I know we've done rye, but uh, we may revisit that. We definitely need something with some straw because we will need a little bit for some TMR mix. Uh, at least for now, we're going to continue to make that instead of buy it. I know I said in the last one we were going to start buying it. Yes, it would be cheaper that way, but eh, 
we're okay. We're doing just fine. Let's head over to the other field, uh, which if you didn't see us make it in the last episode, we took the cow field right beside the other farm's cows, right over, yeah, you know, way, way off there in the distance, top of your screen, and plowed it all up. So we're going to use that as another field. We're going to use it as a crop field. Yes, it's not going to be a grass field. It'll be crop fields. So we'll put something in here, but it didn't know what. So there we go. <laughs> Rock through. We could also take this field to our left, which is beside the grain mill, but I don't know if we're going to be using that for anything or not. Sorry, cows. Probably stings a little bit, but eh, you'll be all right. All right, well, step one out of the way. We're going to need that again, but we'll put it there for now. Now let's come over here. Why am I... I feel like I'm floating. Yeah, I was definitely floating in the air. <laughs> All right, let's select something new. So we have linseed rye, filled beans, and alfalfa. We, well, we've already got grass down in some of the fields, so maybe we do rye and uh, and filled beans. That'd be pretty cool. Hey, I'm down with that. Maybe we do, let's see, these fields would be kind of interesting to do otherwise. Uh, let's do filled beans in these fields over here, and we're going to do rye in the big field. So... Let's open this up and we'll spin it around. We will select filled beans, which I have accidentally gone past four times now. There we go. Got it. We'll put it down and then we're just going to do it right here in our brand new field that we just created. Put it down. There we go. Turn it on and rock and roll. Ladies and gents, filled beans are in the ground. Yay! Got a little bouncy part here in the field, so I'm gonna go over here to our soften tab and see if this helps any. I'm not sure if it will or not. I know I hit a couple spots of this field that were a little bumpy uh, a little while ago, but yeah, you know, let's let's see if this does anything. We definitely had some issues when we were coming through plowing. Uh, that did drop it down a little bit. Not too bad, not too bad. Spin it back around, and we'll see if this hits the zoom. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, there's something up with the cedar as well hang on let's go ahead and raise that up and let's go ahead and put it back down turn it on and go yeah at this cedar may be just a little bit too big for this tractor i think maybe an 8r might be in our future somewhere the 9rx uh was cool i can't remember did we keep that i don't i don't know if we kept that or not no i didn't even use it on this one. Oh, we're we're sliding is what we're doing we're, we're sliding I think we need an 8R. Bad. Filled beans, check and check. We've cut them all through here. Now we need to come here and here and plant some other stuff. Now I do have one thing I want to do. So we've got alfalfa in there, but we also have linseed. Linseed's not a crop that I'm very familiar with. It may be something that you are familiar with, but not DJ Goham. So I'm going to plant it. <laughs> We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what grows and... And, and all that good stuff. Man, I love this cedar so much. It is so awesome. But boy, oh boy, this poor tractor's having a tough time with it. We'll drop it down. We'll cut it on. There we go. So I don't know how this is going to pop up. This may be a grass. I, I don't. I have no idea. But I'm excited. And this is the only field of it that we're going to be planting right here. And then across the way, we are going to be planting Right. So we're not going to be doing anything wild, nothing crazy. Uh, it's just going to be a normal ish enough crop. So there you go. Now, pretty much everything has been taken care of. What I need to do is come through and fertilize this field one more time. And then we are pretty much done with today in game, which is kind of nice. Well, we will continue to move forward and we'll see kind of what happens. And pretty much every day, we have to go through, we have to handle the milk and things like that. So uh, just be aware, there's, there's going to be a few things to do in between. Nonetheless, things are turning out very well. We've kind of taken a step back from having all the massive fields and all those extra grass fields, things like that. Hopefully, um, the ones that we have turn out okay because we have 500 cattle right now and 250 head of sheep. But soon, uh, those numbers are not only going to double, but uh, dub double. They, they will not only double, but double. Uh, but not twice. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Here we are in the next day. 9 a.m. in September. Uh, all of our cattle have gone through their straw, which means we can come through here and get rid of this manure, which is going from there to, well, 
back here for some reason. I'm going to use the soften tool to do this. Uh, you can do this and it's going to get rid of stuff. So here we go. Soften. Just boop -a -doop -a -doop. like that. Do it quickly and it won't change the ground that much. I mean, it still will, but not a whole lot. So I think that's gotten rid of every little bit. We'll kind of double check one more time just to see. It says manure 10,000 out of 10,000, but I don't see any which is nice. Uh, so that is there. Now we need to go to the other farm right over here. Where's a good spot? That, yeah, that'll work. Uh, we got 10,000 liters of manure here as well, but only 10,000 liters of manure. So we're gonna do the exact same thing here as well. Let's jump over to landscaping. We've got our uh, rough Safton too. And there you go, cool. Now zero of 10,000 liters of manure. And now, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Ha ha ha! Yeah! No more manure, baby! Let's go! How are the sheep doing? Well, it looks like they're doing pretty good. 2,200 liters of wool, but we need to go put something there to collect all the wool. Uh, 30,000 liters of milk. That's pretty cool. And jump down here. 30,000 liters of milk. So we have 60,000 liters of milk to pick up. We've got our 5M right here. Love this tractor. And I'm gonna have to drive through this field to go get the other milk. Sorry! Got another spot that I'm getting a little bit of a bounce out of. So I'm gonna jump over here landscaping uh, yet again. We're gonna come through here and just kinda give this area a little bit of ease, just like that. Some of this stuff was a little bit bumpy, but uh, looks like, yeah, I think we smoothed it down and we're good now. Cool, all right, let's go get that milk. To be honest with you guys, doing little chores like this might be one of my favorite things to do in Farming Simulator. It's kind of like you've you've got your farm, you're up and running, everything is working the way that it should, and now, really all you gotta do is take care of it. And this, please open, thank you. Uh, and this is something that I thoroughly enjoy because we've gotten everything, it's all good, it's all done. Go and fill the milk up real quick, there we go. It's fun. I don't know. It, it's like you don't really have to work at it anymore. <laughs> something like that. That makes any sense. I don't know. Tell me what you guys like. What is something, obviously, everybody's got their favorite thing. Of course, mine is harvesting. But kind of at the end of the day, you've got this whole little bit right here where it's all kind of done for you. And you just get to enjoy playing the game and doing chores, things like that. I like it. I think at some point I'm going to have to do something about driving across that. I know there's another way in. I could go all the way around, but this way is just so much faster. But I could go the other way. Yes, you you are you are right about that. We'll go ahead and fill this up real quick. There we go. Let's get us up to about 60,000 liters of milk. We'll drop it off and we'll see how much we did. Looks like we made about five, six hundred thousand dollars last night. It's not too bad. We'll go and dump that out. Cool, cool, cool. And check our production. So milk. Yeah, got rid of everything overnight. That's kind of neat. Um, up here, the grain mill, I think I've already got it at max production level. Yeah, it's going. It's just not, not that wild and crazy. Let's double check these production chains and I've purchased something that might help us. I don't know if it will or not, but hey, we'll certainly try. So this mod right here comes with a trailer. So I have chosen the trailer to go with it. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to put a uh, pallet bit on the back of this. I'd be able to. So it does not match, does it? Let's go in here real quick. Hang on. Rim number two. Yeah, those match in main color. We'll change this up to that. Yeah, that, that matches a little bit better now. So that'll work. Now let's grab this, which is, wow, 162,000 liters of flour. That's a more than I thought it was going to be. Um, and does it fit? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Uh, I mean, it's on there. So what are you going to do, right? I'll give you this. It looks way better back there than it did on the other trailer, that Bachman trailer. Yeah, this actually almost looks like it's supposed to be there. So that'll work for me. Now the other trailer would not fit through here. So I wonder if we're gonna be able to fit. Oh, can we make the turn? We can. And now can we back up into here? If we could do this, this is gonna be a bit of a game changer for us. I need to realize that I don't have this thing on here straight. So 
backing up that ain't working and we should just be able to pull us right over the cell point like so yeah there we go all right so it is unloading it's not slow but it is unloading nonetheless very cool there very cool and we can see our flower at the bottom going in perfect we should be able to make some bread soon and maybe sometime soon we'll find something to spend all of our money on as well we're up to almost 1.5 million dollars which is very very good but we've still got lots and lots to do so i think that's going to be it for this one hope you enjoyed it do the like and all that good stuff oh yeah i forgot to do uh do the bit to collect the wool well We'll figure that out when we're back. So we'll see you here on the next one on Court Farms.